In this tutorial in CyberLink Audio Director, we're going to show you how you can extract either the instrumentation from an audio piece or the vocal. You can separate it to make a karaoke track or instrumental track, for example, or simply isolate the vocal. On the screen, we have a vocal, and I've got the acknowledgement of the place where it came from. And I'd like to edit this in Audio Director. So I'm going to right click and choose Edit Audio and then I'll choose Edit in Audio Director. That will load my copy of Audio Director. And here's my audio to start with. So we'll go about to the middle and we'll play a few seconds of it. And this is the normal audio. So we'll pause this, we'll move it back here, and I'm going to click on the Adjust Audio section on the left panel. And then I'm going to drag down to the very bottom one and choose Vocal Remove Boost in Music. That opens up the panel you see here. I'm going to click on the Preview. Now when we start to preview this, let me move my, uh, let me pause it, move it back to the middle section here. When we preview this, we're going to hear it normal. I'm going to pause it. Now I'm going to take my vocal volume and drop it down at least to a minus 20. I can go all the way down to infinity. And if we preview it now, we're going to hear something different. We hear the background, the instrumentation music, and we don't hear the vocal anymore. Let's pause that again. We could apply that and save it without the vocal. Now I'm going to move this back to zero, and I can just type in the number value if I want to there. And let's take the music and back that down to somewhere below a minus 20 and preview the section here. And now what we're going to see is we should be hearing simply the vocal without the audio. So you can extract either the vocal section, the human voice, or you can extract the music, either one. Now in most cases I would expect we would probably want the former. So I'm going to change this back here. So I'll drop it down as though we want simply in this case to have only the instrumentation. And if I like that, I'm going to click on the Apply button at the bottom. That will update this in Audio Director. And if I'm using it in conjunction with Power Director, I simply close the program by clicking on the X in the upper right corner. And it says it will save the changes. And now if I listen to it on my primary track, I'm going to hear it without the audio of the singer. All I hear is the instrumentation. So if you want to do that, that's one way in which you can use Audio Director to go either with the vocal or with the instrumentation and separate one from the other.